Oh, around here, they call this the mob where you at right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I'm not from the mob. Uh-huh. Get it twisted. This is Gotti Line Blue right here. He about two years old. He had a couple of fights around these parts. Got a couple of battle wounds. Nothing major though. How strong is he? Uh, he, he real. He put about uh, 100 pounds on the pig iron in the backyard and shit. You know. Is that right? Just playing around. Yeah. You got that set up over here close by? Uh, no, nah, it's not a set up. Just the backyard. Shit. You know, I feel like putting him on it. Wrap, the, wrap this chain to the, the 100 pounds and let him do what he do. What about your dog? Oh shit, these both are dogs, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. we raise them oh, okay, pretty, tell me about him. We raise them pretty much the same way, but he, it's, he's a boy too, you know, but he a baby, he only like seven months. You know, he just been eating good, getting his exercise. Rat tail blue, rat -tail. that's two different lines. Tell me what that, yeah. break that down for me, that's rat tail just, too. That's just they, they, uh, they blood lines. No, rat tail, he was rat tail, he was like, yeah. like. Rat tail, you, if you look at his tail, you get his tail, yeah. it's real shorter than his. That's the line he came from. He's a rat tail blue. He's a Gotti line blue. That's your How much these dogs usually run when you get them as a puppy? As a puppy, over the net, they go about 4,500. Yeah, with the you know what what paperwork. With the paperwork. That, we got paperwork on both of our dogs, you know what I'm saying? So over the net, it go for about 4,500. First boy, and then from there, break down like four, four Gs for the next first boy. boy. First girl. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 3,500 for the third, and the girls go the same way, like four Gs for the first girl or whatnot. Why $4,500 for that for that type of dog? I mean, it's the line. They got bloodlines, pedigrees, parents. You can go on the net and see parents all the way down from where your dog is. You got history with them, you know what I'm saying? Now, do a lot of the guys from the mob have dogs like this? Oh, yeah. I mean, it depends on where you go. Yeah. A lot of people get them. You know, some people sell them on the street. They don't, you don't necessarily have to sell your blues over the net, you know what I'm saying? Some people sell them on the street, five, six hundred, up to a thousand, maybe even more than that. What do you think about when Michael Vick got caught up in all his uh, his dog dog charges? Ah, somebody snitch. Stop snitching, stop lying. <laughs> That's what I think. It's, it's pretty prevalent all over this country. People love their pits and they love to fight their pits. Is that true? No, you don't have to necessarily let them fight your pits. But you, you do want dogs, around here, here you know where you mean? grew up, you do want an aggressive dog. You don't want everybody just running in and out of your yard, in and out of your house, you know what I'm saying? So aggressive dogs is a must out here. Is it like uh, having a weapon with you when you're walking around the streets? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> You, it you don't be, feel it depends since dogs are trained to protect, you know what I mean? And that's how we raise our dogs to be protectors. And if they go down, they go down, you know what I mean? <laughs> so when you're walking down the street with, with your pit, you, you feeling pretty confident about you know your safety? Oh, not necessarily. Pit bulls can't stop bullets. And when you're walking around with your dogs and, and the police drive by, what kind of what how do you think they perceive you to be? Same way. Just yeah. another black nigga with a dog this time instead of by itself. Man. That's it. They don't necessarily want to pull us over with the dog because they can't pat the dog but Then down. again, they <laughs> might pull you over with the dog just so they can ask you for the paperwork on the dog. Shit like that. That's how they try to get your dog off the street. But if you legit, you ain't got nothing to worry about. So what if what if the police swoop on you right now? You got something to show them to, to keep them to keep it legit? No, we got right ID. Now, we live right around. It the is where it is somewhere. though. Oh, okay. At the house close nearby so what is the violation they can give you a ticket for what if you don't have papers they think of something they always do they they always it's do. like a fine it's like a fine you get almost like 200 they give it to you and you got to go uh get the paperwork for your dog if you don't go get it then they're gonna come take it have you ever had anybody complain like neighbors about your dogs and the aggressiveness of their dogs to try to get animal control out here Animal, animal control, animal control come, out come, by in, yeah, come out randomly. Make sure you got paperwork and everything on your dogs. So, maybe stand complaint.